but tastes good. Mm. It could be a good snack. Mm. Hello guys, welcome to Living in the South PH. I'm here again. My name is Ayel, and as usual, I'll be bringing you some information about, you know, interesting things about the region, uh, Sox region or Southern Philippines as a whole. And uh, recently, I was on a trip to one of the schools here in Sarangani. Uh, it's called the James L. Chongbian National Trade School. So it's one of those uh, those that schools that we call tech vox schools. So they implement a curriculum that uh, involves or that teaches uh, students different skills. Okay, so there's um, uh, what do you call this um, food food trade. They have beverages. Uh, there's also uh, automotive mechanics. There's carpentry. Uh, a lot of many different uh, livelihood skills. To learners, so that you know they also aside from learning basic education in school, they also gain skills that they can use to earn money, to raise their family, to start a business, etc. All right, and uh, in this video, we are going to try uh, some food products that the students themselves um, produce, and um, as I heard, they are already selling these products to different stores and. Uh, they are supported by uh, DTI, so uh, their 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 products are displayed in different pasalubong centers. But as I heard, uh, in terms of production, they have a difficulty meeting all the demands. That's how that's how good their uh, product marketing has been. You know, uh, there has been a great demand for their products, and um, they're still you know trying to cope with all the orders that they are receiving and we are lucky that we were able to um, get a few samples of their products and I'm gonna show you each of their products in this video now I'd like to invite you to please like my youtube channel and you can also view my if you haven't been uh, to this channel before I invite you to check out all my past videos and you can see the different um, tourist attractions here in the south that you might want to visit when you have time and I really you know these uh, places really deserve to be visited by you you know if you want to experience uh, what southern Philippines has to offer check out my previous videos and also I have social media accounts I'm on Facebook as living in the south PH I'm also on Instagram and Twitter on this using this handle all right as I was saying um, I have been to one of the schools in Sarangani it's called James L. Chongbian National Trade School and their teachers gave me samples of their products and I'm interested uh, very excited to show show them to you this is one all right take a look at that okay it's uh, seaweed chips so this is quite unique, all right. Uh, so Kiamba is a coastal municipality, also in Sarangani. So they have a bountiful supply of seaweeds. I think uh, what's pictured here is guso, right? So I think, uh, yeah. So this um, snack product here contains seaweed, flour, iodized salt, and it was uh, fried, deep fried in oil until it's crispy. And then, yeah, I think it, it also has some cheese flavoring in it. It's packaged in this uh, foil, uh, resellable container, all right? And uh, this is this costs 25 pesos in their retail price. And so I'm excited to have a taste of this, and I'm going to tell you what it tastes like, all right? So, wow, it's easy to open. A Ziploc container ito. See? Mm. So it smells like your... Mm, yeah, 
the corn chips that you usually buy in stores, okay? It smells the same, right? And uh, this is how it looks like, right? Yeah, so it's, I think it has, um, yeah, it has some green specks here. These, I think, are the seaweed particles or uh, chopped seaweed or maybe they ground it. All right, and it has some cheese powder, uh, smothered with cheese powder as well. That's the orange. That explains the orange color here, right? Mmm, it's crispy, and it's not very salty. However, it's kind of greasy to me. Maybe they have to uh, do something about the the oil. Maybe after deep frying, they have to. Try to remove the oil first if you if you don't want you know the oil. It's kind of oily for me, but it tastes good. Mm. It could be a good snack. Mm. It's not too salty. Mm. It's very crispy. Yeah. If I if I I would have suggestions for the makers of this yeah they have to do something about the oil and maybe they can have another version which doesn't have cheese powder I personally don't like a uh, cheese powder I I, I deserve I I prefer mm, just some a little salt you know instead of the cheese powder mm. it's a good snack yeah what's interesting it has seaweed so all the benefits of seaweed we can get also from these snacks. Yeah, I also suggested something about their packaging. We have to improve their packaging, uh, the design of their packaging. But but congratulations to the students of James L. Chongbian for this. All right. So the next is, ta-da! It's another healthy snack. It's carrot chips. All right. This is also produced by the students of James L. Chongbian National Trade School. It also comes in the same packaging, it's a foil packaging. Um, yeah, and it's also Ziploc so you can reseal it if you can't finish one one pack of it in one sitting. Right? Yeah. So this contains carrots, flour, iodized salt, iodized salt and baking powder. And it's cooked in the same manner. It's also deep fried, yeah, and it's also it has the same level of oiliness. It's kind of oily. It also has some cheese powder. Mm. It tastes like biscuit to me. It's less crispy. The seaweed one is crispier. This one, the carrots, not so much. Um, but it tastes good and it smells good as well. It's mm. still crispy. Yeah. And um, according to the teachers there, they usually run out of supplies whenever they produce um, these snack. Uh, items, carrot chips and seaweed chips, they always run out of supply. Yeah, so I think um, they have to work on how to speed up their um, production of these snacks because it's it has become high demand in the market. All right. And another thing is, another product that I'd like to show you is their celibat. All right. So this is uh, instant celibat. It comes in the same packaging, foil packaging. Uh, it contains um, what? It doesn't list the ingredients here, but of course, salabat. It's made of ginger, and it has honey and lemongrass. All right. So I'm gonna make a drink out of this salabat and. Uh, Seventy-five years later. All right. So I made this uh, piping hot. A cup of a salabat drink. Alright, so I dissolved one teaspoon of this salabat powder into this cup of water and uh, 
We usually drink this for people who have something, you know, problem in their throats. Okay? They have, uh, they call this um, sore throat or something. If they have cough, this is recommended for them. This is good, so you don't have to add sugar anymore because it already has um, lemongrass and honey. Alright, so there if you want to order these products or if you want to connect with the school for whatever opportunities, if you want to help the school or whatever, just contact them in the number that is flashed on your screen. Alright, so it's very nice that DepEd has come up with uh, programs like the TVL or the Technical Vocational and Livelihood programs um, in the curriculum of the junior high school as well as in the senior high school because this, is, this helps prepare our students for, for the world of work, for entrepreneurship. They gain extra skills that will help them earn money or uh, through through run a business right so so they'll be able to cope with the challenges of life because as we all know um, not all of our students who finish high school proceed to college because of the many factors and uh, you know there's actually a movement right now of changing the face of education that um, people should not be relying solely on college education to be able to have a better life you know it's so it's it, in the 21st century it's really about uh, learning skills that will help you you know live uh, a better life you know and uh, be able to also help uh, the people around you help the community I think that's the a better direction that you know our education should go so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video once again I invite you to please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, this has been Ayel, and I'm living in the South.